What's up everybody, it's Enes here and welcome to another episode. This week we're in Hollywood Hills in about to tour this newly constructed, beautiful modern property right behind me. Now this home features four bedrooms plus an office, 4,800 square feet of interior space, built on a 15,163 square foot lot, and this property is currently on the market for $6,350,000. As always, we will leave more information about the property and the property link down in the description of this video. And before we start our tour, I wanna to thank the development team and all the listing agents, George, Roger, and Gina, for getting us in here and allowing us to tour their amazing listing. And now, let's begin our tour. located on a hillside and it was just recently completed. From the street level, we can see the stucco and wood clad facade. On the left, we have the two car garage and the main entry door brings you to the entry floor of this amazing property. Now, off of the entry, we have beautiful marble floors with the book matching, two chandeliers above us. And if we focus on this side, we have two massive skylights bringing a ton of natural light to the entry and the main floor that we have on the lower level. We're gonna see that in a bit. And now, Mikey, let's continue our tour. Obviously, very spacious entry, and these double doors open up to your screening room. It's a great space off of the entry. We have oak hardwood floors here, two seating sections, projector above us, and we have the screen here. People are sailing, having a good time, even kiteboarders there. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit jealous. We've toured some yachts, but not any sailboats. Maybe, maybe we should throw that in there. Maybe. Yeah. Let us know in the comment section. All right, we have the staircase here going up to the rooftop. Overall, great space. And we have sliding glass doors there, opening up to a balcony that we're gonna see in a bit. Also, throughout the property, there are a lot of these bold art pieces that we're gonna see. Uh, let us know in the comment section if you guys like them. Now, we have this door here opening up to the first bedroom on this level. Same hardwood floors that are also here. It's a good sized room, bed set up, two casement windows. And around the corner we have a spacious walk-in closet and a full bathroom with a floating vanity. Now what's great about this bedroom, Mikey? Sliding glass doors, Fleetwood doors, open up to this private balcony shared by the screening room and this bedroom. You have stone floors here, glass railing to take nothing away from the views. And this is what Hollywood Hills lifestyle is all about. Yeah, it's pretty nice up here. Um, this is a new canyon for us. When we got here, I noticed like, typically when we shoot homes in the canyons, I'm like, we've shot that house, that house, and that house, but- We shot a lot of them. We haven't shot any of these homes yet. I know, a lot of people, you know, we just name it as Hollywood Hills, but there are so many different parts of the hill as you go up or down and stay close to sunset. So this is an interesting corridor that you're right. We haven't really shot many homes around here, so. Yeah. All right, Mikey, let's continue our tour secondary sliding glass doors off of the screening room and we're back into the entry floor. Now, taking everybody back to the main entry and going to the other side, we have a bar set up there with a pool table, another great space. I feel like the main floor of this home is all about entertainment, oak hardwood floors, sliding glass doors open up to a balcony, but first, we gotta acknowledge the gorgeous stonework here, pretty bold, and I like it has a nice contrast with the cabinetry. And again, this is your entertainment space. So you have your wine fridges, your small sink, cabinetry, pretty much everything you need. And even here, natural light was prioritized because you have two skylights above us and sliding glass doors open up to a balcony. But first, Mikey, let's take everybody here. We got a gorgeous full bathroom, toilet setup, walk-in shower, and this stunning marble pedestal sink straight from Italy. How cool is that? It's really nice. We've seen, uh, we're gonna see a few of those throughout the house and yeah, I really like them. Absolutely, it looks great. You have your LED lit mirror, heated mirror, all that good stuff. Now, Mikey, let's take everybody here. This door opens up to the two car garage and there's actually 
a really cool detail about the garage that we're going to talk about right here. So now you have your secondary balcony off of your secondary entertainment space. Let's call it that way. Glass railing also. Really spacious. And we have these sliding glass doors opening up from the garage to here. That way, if you want to pull your car from the garage to this space, you actually can. Really? So how did, how did they engineer that? A lot of steel. A lot, a lot of, steel. of steel. So it's just a bunch of I-beams under us, basically. Exactly. It's steel columns, steel I-beams, which is kind of interesting, but I can see someone having a really nice car here, kind of like feature of your party, yeah. which would be interesting. Yeah, that'd be cool. People in Hollywood Hills like unique details, and this is another one. That's it for the entry floor. Now let's go downstairs and check out the main floor. All right, everyone, we have the staircase taking us down to the main floor of this property. The entire staircase is clad with beautiful marble stone. You can actually see the veins and details, glass railing, and right halfway through the staircase, we have a nice spacious landing there with a massive picture window and a chandelier facing the amazing views. Now, the first thing I wanna point out on the main level is the ceiling heights. We have 16 foot high ceilings throughout this level, which makes the rooms feel very spacious and just kind of opens up the floor plan. We have the dining area behind us, but first I wanna cover some of the details here. This is super cool, Mikey. Almost serving like a little hallway wall, separating this section from the dining area. And you can actually turn them around. Oh, that's cool. And I kind of like the copper finish on it too. Yeah, I didn't realize they rotated. That's, uh, that's nice. That is nice, right? Also serves as your uh, wine rack. Super cool detail. We got a coat closet here. There you go. And right next to that, I think I actually forgot to mention off of the entry. Right next to the entry door, we have elevator. So you have your easy access. And Mikey, we have a powder room here. Beautiful marble floors, and they carried out the same marble finish on the back wall here as well. Open shelving, LED lit mirror another marble pedestal sink just a really nice exquisite powder room off of the landing on the main floor now Mikey, let's get back out and continue our tour right next to us we have the dining area it's all open glass table right in the center that sits eight people and the ceiling heights here are actually even higher because we have the skylights above us off of the entry floor that way you get a ton of natural light coming in it's just a nice area to sit down relax enjoy a good meal because you have these massive picture windows, again, facing the amazing views. Now, Michael, let's take everybody to this side. We have some built-ins here, your living room seating area, but first, I wanna take everybody to the kitchen. Now, the lines of this kitchen are very modern. We have the island right in the center, with lighter tone countertops, waterfall edge, bar seating, and Mikey, I need you to come to this side, actually, because I wanna talk about this fridge here. So we have a built-in fridge, which is very sleek. Cabinetry runs all the way to the ceiling almost, at least on that side. And right before we started shooting today, developer swing by to say hi, want to talk about his development. And he mentioned the detail that I never knew it exists. You have cameras in your fridge. What? So that way throughout your app or you know, within your app, you can actually see what you have in your fridge. Let's say you went to shopping and you're like, I wonder if I need some lemons. It's like, uh, it's like having like a nanny cam, except for your like steak. I feel like this yeah. is your dream. Yeah, I, can, I feel like you would buy this. I can be like, how many steaks do I have? Steaks do I have? How are those things doing in there? Never seen that before, so I wanted to point that out. Super cool. And the flat panel modern cabinetry continues. Uppers that ran all the way to the ceiling with this gloss finish. Lighter tone countertops are here, also used as a backsplash. Your sink dishwasher and on the island we have the gas stove with a pop-up vent there you go really cool stove too i like those knobs a lot i like the brass uh i guess gas cooktops yeah it's kind of sleek there brass, you go bra i guess i don't even know what the word for that brass vents I don't, I don't know i don't know either yeah and there you go Mike. that way you can kind of leave the ceiling all open here have these modern chandeliers now continuing the kitchen we have more cabinetry here all your built-ins on this side, your espresso maker, all that good stuff. Beautiful modern kitchen. I like the marble on the floors and it flows to your living room area. We got some open shelving here, your TV, linear gas fireplace below and space is all open. Your couch is facing your real TV, which is your view. You know, when you have a view like this, you just open up your sliding glass doors and go straight to the outdoors. 
We have approximately 3,000 square feet of outdoor decking throughout this property. And obviously this is kind of like your biggest outdoor area off of your main floor. We have the fire pit here, nice feature wall with built-in seating. I like the landscaping over there, just kind of warms up the space. And you have an outdoor couch set up here. I'm sure in the future, if you want to put a TV here on the wall, you can easily do that. We have your outdoor dining area here. And throughout this deck space, we have glass railing to really enhance the views. I mean, this is great. Look at this, Mikey. Yeah. I'm kind of enjoying it. And something about living in Los Angeles, the more you live here, I feel like the more you appreciate quality outdoor space, so. Yeah, and how much was this house again? $6,350,000. Well, obviously that's a little bit out of our price range, but I noticed when we walked in, this would be a great kind of like office slash home. Those, uh, that entry level floor, yes. you could easily separate that into offices. And then above that, we have another room we're gonna see in a bit. In a bit. It's like a perfect private little office. And then we have that awesome roof deck, which we'll see at the end, I guess. That's true. Yeah. I mean. Overall outdoor space is great. And Mikey, right over here, we have the outdoor barbecue area, concrete countertops. We have the grill right in the center, fridge on this side, kind of everything you need. And it's nicely covered because we have the staircase halfway landing right above us. Now, Mikey, I'm gonna take an interesting route here. Instead of coming to this bedroom through the hallway, we're gonna go through here, through the sliding glass door. It's another good sized room. We have the same 16 foot high ceilings also here. Around the corner, you have your walk-in closet. Nicely decked out. And let's check out the bathroom, which starts right here. Floating vanity design, marble countertops. We have another one of these LED lit mirrors. And the stack tile on the walls actually goes into the walk-in shower as well. And we have a different pattern on this side. Brush nickel finishes. Good size bathroom. Now, let's take everybody to the hallway now, Mikey. But instead of going to the right first, I actually want to take everybody quickly here. We have the laundry room here, washer dryer, upper cabinet, sink. It's kind of where everything goes. Now, coming back to the hallway and going through this door, we come into the primary bedroom suite, king size bed on this side, two light fixtures above, recessed lights, built in speakers, all that good stuff. Room is obviously very spacious. Same hardwood floors are also here. Sliding glass doors open up to the deck that we just toured. And Mikey, let's take everybody here. This is where we have the walk-in closet, very spacious, cabinetry throughout. You have your racks, hangers, wardrobes, chandelier, and this kind of unique kick out, kind of serving as an island with natural stone countertops. Pretty good size. Yeah, very nice. Now let's get back out to the primary bedroom. I like the wallpaper there, it kind of warms up the space a little bit. And going through here, I know we've been touring a lot of big homes lately. This feels kind of, Interesting because it's not as big as like we're used to turning 30, 40,000 square feet now. Um, it's nice. It's a little feels bit. Feels nice and cozy and attainable. Yeah, and we have, our, it looks like we have our France episode pause behind you. Let's play that. <laughs> there we go. That's another cool detail I wanted to talk about. Within your LED lit mirror, you have a TV here, uh, which is super cool. And this is another thing that uh, developer mentioned it to me. So, they have cameras here that every morning you wake up, checks your heat, checks your moisture levels within your skin and gives you advice. Like, you, hydrate, like hydration? Hydration and all that. And they even have a scale here, Mikey. So you can weigh yourself and according to that, it will give you suggestions. I've never seen anything like this. So I don't know if I like this much tech. I'm kind of a simple guy. Yeah. Uh, I haven't updated my iPhone in five years. I think right now that thing would tell you to drink some water. Yes. Uh -huh. um, I always need some water, more water than I, I, I should just drink more, yeah. bottom line. Now, let's focus on the vanity setup here. Beautiful fabricated vanity design here with hidden drains and a marbled back wall. Mikey, can we get a close up on these fixtures? They have marble. Turn them, turn them on. They have marble handles. There we go. Just like that. Now, glass cabinetry goes all the way till the end where we have the walk-in shower Natural stone throughout. I love this backlit design on each side. Of course, you have your steam control here, built-in bench, rain head above. I also appreciate that. Ceiling is clad with stone as well. And those marble handles that we saw, they have it also here. I like that they used a different kind of stone on the, on the wall, uh, on the ceiling and the floors. That's versus right. the walls, yeah. We have the water closet there with a half veins coating that kind of runs to this side 
and it kind of opens up with a book matching here and a marble freestanding tub. This is stunning. Very nice. I like that little surrounded detail it has with the rocks. I know, super cool. You have your floor mount tub filler here. Great bathroom, great primary bedroom suite, and that wraps our tour on the main level. Now let's go back to the entry and go up to the rooftop deck. All right, everyone, before we go up to the rooftop deck, I actually wanna take everybody through here. Right between the entry floor and the rooftop deck, we have this cool room. I'm glad they staged it as an office. You have all these windows facing the street side and the views, and it's nicely disconnected from the rest of the home. So it's a cool feature. I wanted to point this out. Perfect editing uh, office slash living space, this home. You agreed, know? agreed. Now coming back to the staircase and going up my key, we have this glass door opening up to another staircase that takes us to the rooftop deck. This is a great outdoor space located on the top floor. We have the same decking that we saw for the main floor also here, outdoor seating area. But first, I wanna bring everybody here. This is where you put your future outdoor TV and around the corner, Mikey, we have a full bathroom right here. That way, as you're hanging out here, you don't need to go down to the main level. Now, outdoor seating area, right next to that, we have the fire pit. And since we didn't have a pool on the main level, to compensate for that, they came up with this massive jacuzzi on the rooftop. It has the built-in jets and all that good stuff. And Mikey right here, we actually have a jet that you can swim against. That way you can get a nice workout done too. You know, I love these pools, the, mm -hmm. lap, the lap pools, whatever they're called, these automatic lap pools. You know what? I've never tried one of these actually. I have to at some point. Yeah. Great space, glass railing throughout, amazing views. You can actually see the city views from here as well, all the way to the ocean, which is phenomenal. Overall, beautiful property. Alright everyone, that's it for the tour. I hope you all enjoyed this video. As always, you can find more information about the property and the property link down in the description of this video. I also want to congratulate the development team for doing a phenomenal job. And I want to thank the listing agents, George, Roger, and Gina for giving us the opportunity to tour their amazing listing. Lastly, if you enjoyed the tour, just make sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next week.